Hello everyone, Argzy here. We've got another mod preview for you today here in front of us. Two mod packs actually, not just one. These are from BC Beulah Farms. We'll share their uh, link to their Facebook page and itch.io and things down below. But before you console players complain and say why is it on Facebook or anything like that, both of these mods have been submitted to Giants for testing. Obviously no guarantees that one or both of them will actually end up with a console or even on the mod hub. We'll all see how testing going goes, but they are in that process at the moment. As we all know, there is thousands or at least a thousand mods being tested. So it could be a little bit of time before we find out. Uh, but here in front of us, we have two mod packs. We've got the New Holland and Versatile Tractor Pack. Now this tractor is based on the Rostel Mesh tractor that you can buy that is in the game. Uh, but it's been upgraded with a whole lot of additional features, uh, different options for configurations. So we'll go and take a look at those in just a minute in the shop and see what you can do. In the second part, we've got on the back here a Seed Hawk Air Seater. Now this is a 65 foot tool bar on the front and at the back we have the air cart there which has over 21,000 litres of capacity for your seeds and fertiliser. So you'll be able to cover quite a lot of area. On your farm so I think this will be great apart from the seed hawk which Ford Ag have released for PC players the 85 foot version uh, this will be the first large seeder that I'm aware of that will be making it on, it way, on its way to mod hub fingers crossed uh, but otherwise will be available to PC players very soon now BC Bueller has been working very closely with Ford Ag on this. They have uh, collaborated a little bit. He has taken care of the Seed Hawk here for the 65 foot version. Obviously as we know Ford Ag are working on the large one and have released that. Now there isn't compatibility with Anhydrous yet uh, but you can see there I did configure this one with the rear hitch so there may be future updates where the Anhydrous option to use one of the Ford Ag caddies or another caddy might be an option so uh, keep an eye out for that as time progresses but what we're going to do we'll jump into the shop we'll take a look at how we can configure both of these uh, what the different options are how you can set it up then we'll go and take a look at it working out in the field getting some seed planted obviously you'll find the tractor here under large tractors and right here at the very end because it is a mod you'll see we've got the versatile the 2xxx and the new Holland 9x8x. So uh, you can see both there the 201,000 for the base price. Now if I just scroll back a little bit, you'll find in here, right back near the start, there's the Rostel Mesh, the RSM 2375, which they are based on now, of course, Versatile owns Rostel Mesh. So that is where that connection comes, or vice versa, uh, Rostel Mesh own Versatile. So let's jump in here and we'll take a look at the Versatile first and then go through and have a look at the new Holland. So let's take a look here at the versatile first we just double click in there and have a look 310 horsepower is its base power you'll see there 2310 so the number signifies its horsepower as we look through the engine specs runs at 18 miles per hour has a quite hefty 925 liters of diesel it does have a manual gearbox now we'll start having a look here at some of the configuration options we've got Trelleborg, Michelin, Continental, Mitis, BKT and Vredestein in the tires now under each of those there is a few different options we'll just quickly cl click through them so you can see there twins triples narrow twins twin wheels slightly wider ones wide tires back to the twins and very similar michelin is the twins the narrow twins triple wheels all twin wheels again and the wide tires back to the twins continental starting out on the twins narrow twins triple wheels twin wheels too and wide tyres back to the twins. So you can see a trend here, very similar in all the setup. Mitis, twins, wide, and that is the only two there. Uh, but that's more of your bigger flotation tyre option there. Just under Mitis. BKT, again, has those big wide twin wheels. Slightly narrow twin wheels too. A bit different again, twin wheels. And just back to the single wide tyres. Vredestein, twin wheels, narrow twins. Wider twins, wide tyres back to twins and that is all so lots of different options and configurations there for the tires now i'm just going to zoom in here on the cab if we click radio on and off see it's added a cb radio up in there so let's turn that on and off so you can see there coming around to the front 
front weight options 0, 150, 270, 390, 510, 630, 750 and 1230 kilos of front weight. So lots of different options there. And if we come round to the back, we'll have a look at the attaches and weight options here. So you can see no rear weights. If you look up the top here, adds a mid weight. Both weights, so you get a weight down here over the back hitch. Just the back weight. And then we've got an option here to add a PTO shaft with no weights. PTO with the weight up top. And then just the simple three point hitch. And back to no weights. So lots of different configurations there for uh, different equipment depending on what you're going to be doing. Obviously we're pulling with a hitch so uh, we don't actually need the rear three point linkage. Now come back around the front and look at the engine setup. 2310 is our default 310 horsepower. Goes up to 2360 for 360 horsepower. 2375 and there's two different 2375s. The only difference I can see is the uh, hood there with the logos. Then we've got the 2425 and a 2425 tuned which actually takes that 425 horsepower right up to 500. So quite a grunty tractor. And other than that I do have guidance steering included so that's just adding that. It doesn't actually show any globe or anything like that on the roof. And customizable number plates. So back, front or none. The front there you can see it up the top. And Again, in the back in the middle so a lot of options there for how you might want to customize your tractor and we'll take a quick look here at the new Holland as well if we just open up in here pretty much all exactly the same options under tires we've got the radio we have the front weights and all the same attachment options that the versatile had the only difference here is in the engine setup uh, so we've got the 9482 starts out at 310 horsepower 360 horsepower 9682 the 9882 at 425 and then we go to the 94 series, 9484, back to 310, 9684, 360, 9884, 425, and then we get the 9884 tuned at 500 horsepower. Again, same deal with the plates. We put that on front and back. You can see that up the top and back in the center. So nicely, uh, nicely configured tractor, lots of options, which I do appreciate. So you can see here, we've gone for the 9884. We've got the tuned version, big weights on the front, up around the back there we went for the three-point linkage so uh, we are hooking up to the draw pin of course and then over here on the versatile we went for the all weights so we've got the weight there at the back and up high and around the front we've gone for the big weights triples on the front here and then the widest uh, jewels we could find for the new holland so nice uh nice styling to them i do like the different feel you get for this this uh, new holland with these tires on it. it gives almost a bit of a big bud feel to uh the width of those tires and things so we'll add another dimension to your game to have these in there so i'm looking forward to getting out and giving them a try now let's move on and take a quick look at the toolbar and the air cart here for the cedars so you will find these under tools and under cedars again right at the end now We've got the two Ford Ag ones installed here, the 80 foot, 84 foot and the 980 air cart with the anhydrous options. So you can get a little bit of an idea on the difference in size. We can see this folded in. It doesn't have that extra wing in there and slightly different size here in the air cart. We'll take a look at the toolbar first. So it requires 450 horsepower. So you'll realize why we went for the tuned version in both the tractors, 19.8 or 65 foot wide. Now if we come around the back here, we're going to have a look at the wheel setup. We've got the Michelin 865R 32s, only option there in the Michelin. BKST is for your dual tyres. And Lizard, we've got two options, a 30.5 L32 or the same tyre running jewels. And we're back to Michelin. So limited tyre options there, but uh, I don't really think you need too many more for your air bar. Now design, we've got two options here, Seed Hawk, or if we change it there we get the light or lighter red, still the Seed Hawk, but it has the uh, Vetastad branding on it. So depending on what your uh, favorite brand is, you can choose there. Some people might like the brighter red, others might like the uh, more maroon red to go with their tractors. Systems, we've got an option here for tow between, and that is to have the air cart between the tractor and the air seater or the toolbar. So you can see here our hoses all come up to the front drawer bar, or if we go to tow between, the hoses all come out the back so the tool air cart can be towed behind the toolbar. So we've set our two different air seaters you'll see out there up 
with the different configurations so you can see one behind and one between. And taking a look at the 660 air cart as well. Just double click into here and have a look at that. Now tyres up first. We've got BKT with the 710 75R34 joules and a 1050 50R32 wider tyre. Back to the joules. Michelin 710 75R34 joules, 1050 50R32 wider tyre. Blizzard, which has got the one option there with the jewels, so you could actually, that's the same as what was on the uh, toolbar, so you could match tyres up there. Midas, just a big fat 1250, not quite an LSW size, but getting very close. And then the last one here, Almas, the transfer tracks. Now this is very similar to the Almas manufacturing auger cart, uh, brain cart. They have a track like this, but it has four of the uh, smaller guide wheels down there rather than this. So this has been... Shrunk down in size from the grain cart, but that is where that is based off. Now, options there, obviously, toe behind or toe between. You need to make sure you match that to your toolbar. Uh, the toe behind there does give the rear, uh, rear hitch point, so you can uh, hook up that anhydrous bar if that functionality comes to it. Again, design, you can pair it with your toolbar if you chose Vetastat or the Seedhawk color there. And then lastly, you've got two options for your fill system. No conveyor, so you'd need to use a uh, auger cart or something like that. Obviously the conveyor truck trailer is available in game or you could run one of the augers up beside it and dump into that. Or you can have it there with the conveyor system. So open your, uh, open your lids and the conveyor will fold out and you can dump into that directly. So two different options there for that, which is uh, very nice. So just taking a look here, we've gone for the Seed Hawk with the toolbar behind the tractor. Now I prefer it this way, I find it easier to line up your toolbar when you are working in the field if it's closer to the tractor. And then your ear cart's just tying behind and kind of uh, can go where it needs to go just to be in alignment. And uh, I have found that is the easiest way when I've used it. Uh, others might have other opinions on it. Uh, that is entirely your prerogative. Now we've got the auger there and we'll show that opening up and how it can be filled. And if we just run around here to the other side, you can see we've got the uh, Vetastat here. We've got the toolbar on the back and the cart in the middle. This one doesn't have the auger and we did go for the tracks on it just to see what those were like. Uh, the detailing, the hoses and everything like that. As you come to expect from uh, someone who's had some input from Forward Ag, uh, those guys have done some great jobs with their anhydrous hoses and uh, I don't know whether they've passed on any of their knowledge but BC Bueller has done a fantastic job with his hoses here as well. They do look fantastic as they get out and all the way out to the wings. There's some beautiful animations too here on the, uh, the shanks and everything like that so we'll take a look at that when we get out into the field. So just while we're standing here, I just did want to comment on the size of the tanks. So there's three tanks on this air cut. Uh, the two front ones, you can see the division there with the black line. It's probably easier to see on the darker red. In fact, if we go around the other side, I'm going to jump up on the tyre. Right up top here, there you go. That's the best place to see it. So you can see the three tanks there. The front two, 5,600 litre capacity each. And uh, they just take seed. And the rear one, 10,600 litre capacity. Now that can be configured with either seed or fertiliser. So obviously you put fertiliser in that, you'll be fertilising as you plant. If you run seed, uh, you may have applied fertiliser beforehand. You might have uh, put some manure or slurry on your fields. You may have decided you didn't want a fertiliser for whatever reason. Uh, you can obviously run with a larger capacity of seed in there. Of course, uh, when I've used the Ford Ag one, we have had the... And Hydrus Caddy on the back, and that has provided our liquid fertilizer. Uh, it may be, instead of being in Hydrus, there may be an option for liquid fertilizer as well in the future. So, all sorts of possibilities how you can use this. So, we're going to go jump here into the New Holland. We'll uh, open that auger up, show you the animation on that, get this unfolded, have a look at the features and how it all goes unfolding, and uh, then we'll go and run it in the field. You can hear the engine sounds there. You'll notice I was uh, strategically dressed as well, wearing the New Holland t-shirt and hat. So we'll just stop there. Now if we uh, press our unfold button, you'll watch the animation. The uh, unfolding here is very nice, I do like it. Get out the back here a little bit more so you can see it all coming down. And 
the sound design. Uh, obviously the features that Giants have added into FS22 with all the different sounds. Really do enjoy that. There you go, that is uh, that is all unfolded. Now we'll just press lower. And there you go, you see the animations there. Nice and fast, uh, I realise some of the other air seaters out there have been very slow, particularly in FS19. Uh, but that animation there and the speed of that going up and down makes it very nice. Now if we turn this on, get the engine rev up there, get this nice, nice whine here in the uh, in the fans on the back of the air cart. That all sounds very good. Of course, if we just come back in close again, lower that down, drive off, and see we are getting some drop into the ground. So everything is working as we'd expect. We're just going to turn that off. I did say we would take a quick look at the animation here on the rear for the uh, auger. So we've opened that. You can see that coming down, folding out. Goes to the front tank first. There we go. That is uh, in position. And we can just tag, tab through to get to each of the following tanks. And obviously once we're done there, we'll press it again to fold up. So you could fill up if you had a truck or trailer that had a uh, grain door on the back flap, you could uh, back up and zip straight into that. Could be using an auger, you might fill up out of a hopper bottom trailer or something like that. So there's plenty of different ways to be using this. I'm not going to tell you what the best one is, uh, but that are some of the options. Just taking a quick look here in the cab, very uh, nicely detailed. Very simple tractors uh, as they were back at this age and vintage. Not too much to them, not many electronics to go wrong or anything like that. But uh, very nice, very practical, great visibility out of them. Just having a look around the back here, you can see all around without any difficulties at all. So uh, for backing, reversing or just manoeuvring around in the field if you want to play in cab, I think uh, these will be very, very easy to use. So we'll head down to the end of the field. We won't plant across here in the diagonal or across the uh, ploughed rows. We'll head down to the end and make a little bit of a start on some planting and see how it all works. All right, so I've got the HUD up this time. We're just going to turn this on. Now, you might have noticed it didn't put fertilizer down in that little demo I did just before. Uh, I didn't have fertilizer in the tank. We'd filled this all up with seed, and you would have noticed that when we were opening the uh, augers up and having a look inside the uh, seed cart. But there we go, we've got that lowered down and if we just start to head off on our way down the field see we are getting that darker texture. Uh, I think it is a problem with this map, this is Shellbrook by Camille Mapping. Uh, I haven't updated to the latest version of it but we are just getting a little bit of a patchy fertilizer application there. Uh, but I don't believe it is an issue with the air seeder, I think it might be something in the map. Uh, but there we go, everything all running very nicely, some nice sounds, some great looking uh, effects on this, it just it just does what it's meant to do, it's an air seater, it's nice and wide, covers lots of ground, and uh, I think you'll be very happy when these hit Mod Hub or when they're released to add them to your game and have a bit of a play around with it. So there you have, this is the New Holland Versatile Tractor Pack and the Seedhawk Air Seater 65 foot wide toolbar both by BC Beulah Farms. Uh, these are both a couple of great looking mods. I think the guys have done a fantastic job with the detailing and uh, features that these both have and I think they will become very popular in the future. Like I said at the start, both have been submitted to Giants for testing so fingers crossed uh, as Giants work their way through that massive mod list and testing list uh, we will see these very soon in the Mod Hub because I think uh, these would be great addition for both console and PC players so fingers crossed, keep the fingers crossed console players that we get to see them on your Playstations and Xboxes in the not too distant future uh, but huge thank you to BC Beulah Farms for uh, giving me the pleasure of testing these out and taking a look at them and showing them all off to you uh, like I said, really enjoyed it and looking forward to having these on my gameplays uh, you can see over in the background there I've got the 85 foot forward egg air cart as well so both some great mods and I'm looking forward to any of the future additions that might be made to it as well when it does become fingers crossed compatible with that uh, anhydrous cart and liquid fertilizer caddy so I hope you have enjoyed that mod review or mod preview thank you all very much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one